Welcome back to the Bad Food Fast Food Podcast. I'm Sarah Bell. I'm Sebastian, and uh, we are here coming to you from Tucson, Arizona, kind of both of our hometown. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, as we were children, we were in the Rocky Horror Picture Show together. cast together as our, as our history. If you missed the first part of the show, and what we're here to talk about is fast food and junk food specifically. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the episode we kind of gave you an introductory thing talking about sweet stuff. We're going to spend more time coming up in episodes later talking about a lot of sugar. Yeah, yeah. We both know our way around. <laughs> Dessert. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, have an, a sweet tooth that I don't really know matches anybody else. Uh, no. I mean, do am I the the sweetest sugary eater you know? Or well, no. I I actually know one or two more people in Portland who are addicted to to the sugar. Portland has that donut place, Voodoo Donuts. It's famous. Mm, it is very famous. I've never been to Portland, but I've heard about Voodoo Donuts. Have you Voodoo, been? To I Voodoo? have been to Voodoo Donuts many times. Okay. Um, Tell there, me about it. Well, there are the old school Portlandians before Portlandia was cool. Yes. Um, there was a Voodoo Donut 24 hours downtown. Voodoo Donut. And, and was it just like the, the one location? It was one location and it was run out of a window. I mean, pretty much it was a half door. There was no restaurant? There was no restaurant. Got it was it. a half door and you ordered whatever it was. And then got they got an actual shop on uh, Sandy which was open 24 hours, and that's where people go at 3 in the morning when you want donuts when you're stoned and drunk. I'm looking at some pictures of the place. You can actually see <laughs> on Google amazing. Images. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, when you're stoned and drunk, it's open until, like, what time? No, it's 24 hours. It's 24 hours. It's 24 I hours. That. Okay, got it. And um, the people, the community that I joined up there um, always would have, like, these little get-togethers, and we're like, okay, let's go to Voodoo Donuts tonight at 3 o'clock because it's going to be dead. No, there'd be a line out the door. At and you'd wait in, in, in the morning. At three a.m. in the morning, you'd wait an hour. Wow. To get these donuts, so they had the donuts that are basically normal yeast donuts. There's nothing special about the donuts. Are they themselves. like? Uh, forgive me, like the crispy clean, crispy cream, regular glaze, like yeah, that. Yeah, but what happens is all okay. their toppings. So they would take a normal glaze, and then put a chocolate frosting on it, and then cocoa puffs on top. Cocoa Puffs the cereal. It's Cocoa Puffs the cereal. They had Cocoa Puffs oh and God. Fruit Loops and just every kind of cereal you can imagine. Um, they would have, I want to say it was like a dirt bag, which was a chocolate cake donut that had a peanut butter frosting with Oreo crumb pieces on top. Oh, my God. Yeah, the pictures are just amazing of some of their stuff. Yeah, I don't know and if, <laughs> if you can see. I actually pulled it up on my little tablet yeah, here. Yeah, probably uh, not. Yeah. Um, you can see that that's some of the artwork. Yeah. We'll actually show a close-up of the actual yeah. website. But um, So tell me, what are some of the... What, what have you had there? I, I have had... Well, they're, they had... They've now changed the name of it, but it's the Cock and Balls. <laughs> Which was basically seriously? Yes, no, seriously. Let me see if I can find a picture because I may have a picture. All right. Um, you know what? Let um, me just ask Siri. Siri's really fast yeah. at this stuff. Uh, come on, Siri. <laughs> yeah, Siri's great. Search the web for cock voodoo balls. donuts, cock and balls. Mm. Wow, it it worked. <laughs> voodoo donut. The magic is in the hole. Yes. Is that it? The famous cock and balls donut at Voodoo. All right, there's a Flickr feed. Uh, let's take a look at that. Yeah. Um, tell, so what is it? <laughs> I see. Is that it? This is it. Um, so I'm going to show the camera. I don't know who this woman is, but because it is on the internet, oh, Lord, it okay. is free. Well, maybe we can blur out or cut out her face. We'll yeah. crop out her face when we show but this. But basically, yeah. it is a giant... It's okay. I'll, I'll insert yeah. it later. Yeah. Um, but wow, it, how about that? It's a giant... It's like a, t you know, I, I don't want to say a T-shaped donut. It's like a, an inverted T. Well, it kind of is like a T. It's an inverted the, yeah. T with the balls being the, the cross. Mm, yeah. And then, the, you know, and you can imagine. And then just a nice, yeah. So, um, Chocolate with, like, some uh, uh, some vanilla glaze. You can oh, whatever you wanted onto it. You can write yeah. whatever you we want. We had, my friend Melanie had her 21st birthday. Why? At a bar downtown. <laughs> and we walked over to Voodoo and got her a had cock and balls and it said happy 21 melanie and you wow. know we stuck candles in it and people groaned but um stuck candles <laughs> in it well and so that was their like big thing that never made it on man versus food and guy fieri all those because they all come to portland they all go to voodoo donuts of course it's but been on tv many times they don't mention the cock and balls well they can't no that's the thing is i mean even when <laughs> such topics are broached on the regular media uh 
things like that get left out <gasps> right. almost universally. Yeah. And it's because yeah. even cable TV, where you can swear and past a certain time, I think it you're allowed to be a little more, more free raunchy, with your language yeah. and a little more free with your content. But whatever, like the, they can't show you the cock and balls donut yeah. from uh, Voodoo Donuts. Is it a yeah. regular thing that they have? There? Oh, the thing that they have every you know there all the wow. time. Yeah. All right. I did not want to talk about donuts, but it's no, just, no, no. <laughs> once you start us off, we can't stop. Well, well That's you talked about sugar, and I that is the the sugary sugariest of sugars. Yeah. In, I had a friend who was diabetic, and he was the one who always wanted to go to Voodoo Donuts, and he passed out on the max on the way home because his sugar spiked over 500. She's laughing about this medical emergency that a person... He did it to himself. No, he did it to himself. (laughs) But, you know, I feel like that's another topic we're going to mention here from time to time is personal Mm -hmm. responsibility. Now, I believe in (laughs) food freedom. Now, part of the thing that this is not going to be is a thing about fancy dining. No. I don't like fancy dining. I kind of have written about it. I'm not going to go off on a rant about it, but essentially I'm not a fancy diner guy. I don't drink alcohol. All I care about really is is food food. and soda. I like soda a lot. So soda will have its own episode as well. We're going to kind of have a Mm -hmm. drink of the week. (laughs) on Ooh, uh, yeah, these shows yeah. and I feel like the first one I wanted to be Code Red Mountain Dew since mm-hmm. it's kind of my trademark drink right. yeah. uh, and you're on the Clear American uh, uh, currently I'm like on the Clear di- American is that essentially diet water? yeah basically it's diet water because it's got you know the, the sweet flavors does it have any like um, vitamins or electrolytes or oh, anything like that? Not. is oh, it like no. vitamin water? Um, no zero everything sodium everything is zero everything is zero no sugar and then yeah, uh, water filtered plus... carbonated water, citric acid. Oh, that's kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, potassium, natural flavors, aspartame, a preservative that I can't pronounce, another thing, and another thing. Phenylalanine. Can I see the preservative? You can't, because I, I like that. Oh, okay. Contains phenylalanine, yeah. which is that warning they, they, they put on a lot of, like, gum with NutraSweet right. and a lot of things, because people who have phenylketonuria cannot process that and it becomes toxic and blah 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 it's this long story but um it's a long it's name. extremely rare that's yeah. the other thing is it's not very common and for this to be like a thing they figured out to the point where they put it on labels always right. fascinated me hmm. all right burgers i wanted to do just like right, right. your just, top just... fast food burgers and yeah. why um where what was the last burger you had uh two nights ago i went to sonic Sonic. How Sonic. is I haven't been to Sonic. In a I long time. I haven't been to Sonic in a long time either because they are very rare in Portland. There are uh, there yeah. are there's they're pretty one. rare in Mexico too. <laughs> and um, I just had a number one with cheese and mayonnaise only because right. I am a spoiled fat kid and as well, a child I did not have to eat my vegetables. Nice. So as an adult. I you do not eat vegetables. Eat not even like potatoes if they're French fried well, kind of a thing. Those aren't. Those are potatoes. Those aren't vegetables. Those aren't vegetables. Okay. Um. So I just. So like you went my to burgers. Sonic. I'm trying to think. The last burger, burger, burger I had. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is a place, a like a, a butcher shop in Tucson called. Oh, what is it called? It is called uh, Dickman's. How can Dickmans, I forget that? Yes, Dickman's yes, is Dickmans, a pretty well Dickmans, known in yes. Southern Arizona uh, butcher shop, and they have mm-hmm. these burgers that are sort of infused. The ground beef is infused with ground oh, bacon. Right, right, right. So it's right, a right. bacon burger, mm-hmm. but it's with beef as well. So it's yeah. like beef plus bacon, bacon in this hamburger patty. Yeah. Let me tell you something. It sounds pretty <laughs> good. It is really, really freaking good. good. Like, yeah. it is amazing. Now, that's the last homemade burger I well, made. Well, didn't Dad make you burgers when you came over? That your one dad? Time? Yeah, my yeah, dad. Yeah, your dad made me burgers. I'm trying to think of the last fast, fast, food, fast food burger I had. Mm. And it may have been... Oh, I do know. I was visiting Denver for New mm. Year's week. And it might have even been like New Year's Eve day. And I went to the Wendy's that was up the street ah, from where yes. my friend. And uh, <laughs> I got to say, I, I'm going to talk about this at a point in the future, too. Did not have the greatest experience. Really? Partially because I thought this burger was going to be better than it was. It mm, was like the mm-hmm. bacon portobello melt or something oh, like right, that. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, there have been commercials the about commercials it The commercials look stuff. pretty. I don't like mushrooms, but they look pretty. I like mushrooms, but these seemed like they were kind of canned. These did not seem like good oh, mushrooms. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, so, I don't know. We'll talk about it, like yeah. I said, in the future. Uh, so, some quick uh, running down of the topics that we... I made a list of the different mm-hmm. things we'll talk about on the fast food, junk food okay. podcast. Show me the money. I want to talk about, like, the fast food angle. McDonald's makes billions in profits. Uh, billions. Billions upon billions. Other other burger places do, too. I want to look at how much they make. Minimum wages right. and fast food mm-hmm. workers. Right. Fast food profits, that kind of thing. Uh, test markets. I think that's a really interesting yeah, idea. When you hear about McDonald's getting pizza... Or right. uh, other kind of weird when they test things. Well, we're a test market. Tucson, Tucson, is, a Tucson test is a test market. market. That's why I wanted yeah. to bring this up. I wanted to look at where other test markets seem to be for different mm-hmm. places. 
and uh, you know, f- food ideas that failed, like Clear Pepsi and shit oh, like that. I, I think is Clear really. Pepsi. Clear Pepsi. I think that's Pepsi really interesting. Amazing. I missed um, it. And also hoaxes, like people who say that they're. Uh, worms in the mcdonald's burgers right. or one of the like the famous one was the finger in the M- wendy's chili yes which turned yeah. out to be a hoax it was not true that there was actually a <laughs> finger found um i mentioned the sweeteners episode i want right. to talk about sweeteners burgers and fries just desserts where we talk about yes. pie cake cookies candy ice cream that mm. stuff an episode specifically devoted to pizza uh, two episodes. The specialty places, Taco Bell, Chipotle, mm-hmm. Panda Express, Yokohama. Jimmy is, John's. Is Yokohama still around? There is a Yokohama on Valencia and 12th. That okay. is the only Yokohama, Yokohama I have rice seen bowl. in like five years. As my buddy Steve K. used to say, Chokyo Mama Rice Bowl. <laughs> um, Wingstop, Wiener Schnitzel, yes. KFC, Popeye's, Churches, the Chicken Places, right? I'm right. going to do an episode mm-hmm. about those mm-hmm. things. Oh, Probably that's more than one, like you just yeah. said. Fried yeah. chicken is good. It's big. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, just about donuts. Cinnabon, yeah. Krispy Kreme, Dunkin' Donuts, right. and the other places. The dessert breakfast of, yeah. Uh, uh, the Portland place we talked about. I mm-hmm. wanted to try and get mm-hmm. pictures of that. I wanted to do an episode on astronaut food, because I did this <laughs> one video once of right. me eating an actual like astronaut dinner in one of those right, foil the packets. little kind of... How was that? Uh, you want to save it for the show? You, well, I do, but essentially it was survivable. Like you could actually live on it if you had right. to. It was not tasty or delicious by no, any means. We'll uh, talk MREs, about it more, huh? MREs, military MREs. Reaction? We can yeah. talk about that too. That would be interesting. Let me just make a note of that. Uh, MRE. You had told me to give you a top ten fast food and then a top five burgers. Okay, let's do this, just the top five burgers this time. Well, um, so. Unfortunately, Burger King is actually my number one. Okay, can I go? Don't you know how to do a top five? No, I don't. down from the top, the, the no, lowest okay. to the best. So your least favorite of the my least favorite. favorite of the favorite, even though I only have three written down, is probably going to be Sonic. Sonic. Okay, number right. five is Sonic, Sonic. for Sarah Bell. Number four. Uh, number four is going to be Wendy's. Wendy's. Number it's square. Okay, Sonic. Wendy's, then number three. Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. in third place for Sarah Bell. Yeah. Why? Um, what do you like there? I'm, it's more of the combination of the burger plus the zucchini fries. Or the zucchini, zucchini fries. Round, zucchini okay. rounds. Side dishes, another yes. episode we will have here. <laughs> um, okay, go on. What's your number two burger? Unfortunately, McDonald's. Why do you say unfortunately? Because everyone... Everybody's though, against McDonald's. Yes, everyone is against McDonald's, even though they are serving billions of burgers a day. Yeah, no, it's true. Everyone is against that. And I think it's really unfair. Um, so we're going to talk more about that. Yeah. And your number one hamburger at a regular fast food burger place is? Just a Whopper. Just a Burger Whopper, King. Whopper, Burger King, the Whopper. Whopper with cheese and mayonnaise only. Again, All right, it's interesting. Just, it's one of those ones that if I am in a strange city yeah. and I know that there are all of these restaurants everywhere, I'm yeah. just going to go to Burger King. All right. Okay. It, you know, because it's simple and yeah. it's one of those ones that I can find a Burger King here or Dillon, Montana right. or Junction, Texas. And it's whereas, comforting because you can get the same thing every time. Right. Because, I mean, In-N-Out definitely would have been on there, but In-N-Out is so yeah specific right. to certain states. Uh, that's true. And I mean, here's the thing. in and outs on my list. I'll tell you right oh, now. Yeah, so I yeah. threw it in. So if you want to modify your list <laughs> for the future to add in and out in the appropriate right. place, that's okay. Yeah. Here's my top five burgers. Okay. But uh, we're going to probably go over it a little bit here. I'll mm-hmm. do them really fast and we'll come at you with more information. Okay. Uh, my number five burger, Sonic. Right. Love that Good. Sonic number one burger with the mayonnaise. Yes. Number four is going to be McDonald's. Just plain mm-hmm. uh, double quarter pounder, they call it, with mm-hmm. cheese. Uh Number three is going to be Five Guys. I have not been to a Five Guys in years. Number two, Jack in the Box. And number one, In-N-Out Burger. Now, Mm -hmm. uh, In-N-Out Burger is always just my number one favorite because it feels freshest. Uh, the it's one thing really fresh. And I will say this for the record. The one thing Five Guys has that In-N-Out Burger can't do, Hmm. bacon. Oh. Bacon. They have, yes. Five Guys has the bacon. Also, Jack in the Box has the bacon. In and out does not. All right, coming up on our limit here, we're going to stop. She's Sarah Bell. I'm Sebastian. We are doing a fast food, junk (laughs) food, extended version uh, for our first episode kind of podcast. And we'll have more after this. Okay.